My name is Yavinash Nayanju Saravan Kumar. My matrix number is 198543. Good evening. My name is Steven Srivasan. My matrix number is 196382. Today, we are going to solve a problem that, uh, solve a differentiation problem that is involving real life application. And our real life application is arising in this. So, this is our question. A hot air balloon rising straight up from a level field is tracked by a range finder 500 feet from its liftoff point. At that moment, the range finder's elevation is pi over 4 and the elevation is occurring at the rate of 0.14 radian per minute. Thus, how fast is the balloon rising at that well, moment? So before we start to discuss about our problem for today, let me introduce to you the topic of our problem which is related rate. So I am going to teach you how are we going to tackle every problem that is related with rates. So our first strategy is you have to draw a picture and name the variables that are not present in the question. And then you write down the numerical information that you receive from the question in terms of symbols, uh, you can write the angle as in theta, you can write the uh, radius as in r and things like that. And in the third uh, strategy is you write down what you are asked to find, which is usually the rate expressed in the form of derivatives. And in the fourth strategy, write down the equation that relates to the variable. That means we have to write down the equation that we want to find, that is not present in the particular problem statement. And then we differentiate with respect to t. So when we talk about rate, it means time. So when it, when we talk about time, it relates with t. Because the only symbol that we can think of time is t. So we differentiate it with respect to t. And finally, we evaluate the problem and we find the unknowns and we complete our problem. Now, let us move on to the question. So, we will now solve this question based on the six strategies that I have told you earlier. So first, we need to place the range finder. A hot air balloon is being launched from the range finder and at a certain distance from the liftoff point. So, our aim is now to find the speed of the hot air balloon from its liftoff point. How fast does the hot air balloon moves up to the atmosphere. So we set the range finder at this point. Alright? And the distance from the range finder to the liftoff point is taken to be 500 feet. So we draw a long line and we label it as 500 feet. So this will be our range finder. This is our liftoff uh, lift point and the distance from the range finder to the liftoff point is 500 feet. Alright. Next is we want to find the speed. We the logically the hot air balloon will rise up. So when the hot, hot air balloon rises up to a certain height, it goes in a straight line. So we draw a straight line. So to connect from here to here, we draw another line. Because there is a certain angle from the range finder where we can directly see the hot air balloon. So Given here is the elevation angle which I have labeled as theta. So the elevation angle here with the value of pi over 4 is changing. The rate is increasing at 0.14 radian per minute. Why is it positive? Because it's increasing. So when it increases, it's in a positive manner. So the, the change in the angle is uh, differentiated with respect to time because it's rate. So, d theta over dt equals to 0 0.14 radian per minute when our angle theta is pi over 4. So now, what we are supposed to find is the height, which is, I have labeled as y. So, we have to differentiate the y with respect to t when the angle is pi over 4. So, we label as dy over dt and using the, th the angle as pi over 4, we find the speed. Now let's get into solving it. Okay. Uh, usually, 
uh, we don't know why here, uh, and uh, we have to find the height of the balloon, uh, how fast the, balloon, the rate of the balloon rising uh, in opposed to time, which is uh, dy to dt. So, to find y, okay, we, we imagine this as a triangle, okay, so here we have the adjacent and then the opposite, okay, this, uh, this theta is given over here, the angle, which is uh, pi over 4. So, if you want to derive an equation to find y, it will look like <coughs> tangent, sorry, tangent theta, which is O over A, which is a basic trigonometry. Uh, so, as I said earlier, we will uh, take the views from the tangent theta, which uh, is equal to opposite over adjacent which is uh, the basic trigonometric identities, identity where, whereas the O shows the uh, Y and the A is the adjacent which is uh, valued at 500 feet so if we were to plug in our values look like this okay right now uh, now what we want to do is to make Y as the subject because that's our focus in uh, in uh, completing this uh, differentiation, okay, to make y the subject, we will transfer all the values to the other side, and uh, what we will get is 500 tangent theta. Okay, what I want to do now is uh, <coughs> to differentiate y with respect to uh, theta, uh, so what uh, so that we can uh, find out. Uh, what is dy over dt using uh, parametric differentiation? So, dy over do we get um, f100 second square theta. Okay? So, now that we have both of our values, find this, uh, what we we'll do now is uh, basically compute dy over dt, which is um, y over d o times the d o over d t. As you can see, this cancels off, and if we, if we, if normally this cancels off, and we just multiply both of the values, and we get whatever is left, uh, will be d y over d t. Okay, so now we we find our values here. D y over d o is a um, 500 second square theta. And dO over dt is sorry. So dO over dt is 0 0.14. Okay. Um, second square. Uh, we can actually plug in uh, the, our values for for theta because it's given already. So what we do now? So we'll uh, substitute. The value of theta inside will be next to second square. The value of theta will be second square pi over 4 times 0 0.14. We all have uh, our values substituted into the equation. What we have to do now is uh, calculate, uh, uh, calculate all of this, and what we will get is. So, as for the value here, uh, you can't plug this value into the calculator. Uh, as you can see, there's no values in the second square calculator. So, what we do now is we'll uh, compute what is uh, second, second, uh, second pi over 4. This uh, will give you a value which is square root of 2. What we're going to do now uh, here is we're going to substitute this value into this. So you write back our equation. Since this is second square, this is second square, the square will carry forward into this value as well. And we if we calculate this value, we're gonna get 140 feet because that is our unit of measurement for the length or the height in this case over. Uh, sorry. 
per unit of time or time is minute so that's the answer um, as you can see we have uh, completed the problem and um, hope, we, hope you guys enjoy this video and as always thank you thank you